What is up, everyone? It is your boy, The Bear, and welcome to the Conservative Chicanos. This story is about justice being served to the infamous party mom of Los Gatos, California. She was attacked by five inmates named Erika Amaya, Daniel Chavez, Sofia Vigil, Anita Carres, and Mariana Garia, where they face where they where they each face one count of assault by the means of force to likely produce great bodily harm, court records have revealed. The incident occurred at the Elmwood Correctional Facility where the women are being held on multiple charges related to throwing alcohol-fueled teen sex parties. The 47-year-old O'Connor, meanwhile, is being held without bond on 39 criminal charges including felony child sex abuse, sexual assault, sexual battery, and providing alcohol to minors. Prosecutors say she hosted parties for kids that were mostly 14 and 15 years old. Disgusting where she would buy vodka and fireball whiskey, provided condoms, and urged teens not to tell their parents about these parties. She also allegedly discouraged the other children from calling for help when one passed out from getting drunk and vomited or basically having alcohol poisoning. She would discourage these kids from reaching out to get an ambulance to help save one of their friends. O'Connor allegedly used social media platforms to communicate with these students at the Los Gatos High School, where, the two, where two of her sons are currently enrolled. She would often use Snapchat or text messages telling the teens to leave their homes late at night, come to her house where she would provide them with alcohol that she had purchased for them. At one party, O'Connor handed a teenager a condom and pushed him into a room with another drunken teen. During a New Year's Eve party with about five 14-year-olds, she allegedly watched and laughed as a drunken teen sexually battered a young girl in bed. In another case, she allegedly brought a drunk teen into a bedroom of her home where another intoxicated girl was laying in bed. Afterward, the girl would ask O'Connor, why did you leave me in there with him? Like, why did you, like, do that? Like, you knew what, was going, what he was going to do, and you basically allowed it to happen. Prosecutors say she let a minor drive her SUV in a parking lot while two other kids were hanging out at the back of the vehicle. One of those two teens... Uh, hanging out the back, it allegedly fell off and was knocked unconscious. This is just a terrible, horrible individual. According to the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office, the five inmates attacked the woman in her cell, causing injuries that required medical attention. The exact nature and extent of her injuries are not known, but she was repeatedly treated and released from a nearby hospital. This incident with this party mom has raised concerns about the safety of inmates in the Santa Clara judicial system. According to a spokesperson from the Sheriff's Office, she, they said, we take the safety and well-being of our inmates very seriously. We are investigating this incident thoroughly to ensure that it doesn't happen again. The attack on the party mom has brought attention to the larger issue of teen party culture and the dangers associated with underage drinking and drug use. In recent years, there has been a growing concern about the prevalence of teen parties where alcohol and drugs are readily available, and parents or other adults are either complicit by buying them alcohol and letting it happen or just turn a blind eye. While the exact circumstances on the attack on the party mom are still being investigated, it is clear that the incident has shown a light on the need for greater awareness and action around the issue of teen party culture. As the, inst as the investigation into the attack continues, it, ho it is hoped that it will lead to a greater understanding and action to address this important issue of teen partying. Now, this to me, party mom deserved what she got. Now, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Smash that like button. Share this video. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that uh, she's innocent? Do you think she's guilty? What do you think her consequences should be, especially being that it's in California? You let me know in the comments down below. I hope you all have a good day. God bless. And as always.